Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing the new promo trailer for Season 9 Episode 5 of The Walking Dead, Rick's last episode, What Comes After. With that being said, major warning of spoilers for everything in the show up to Episode 904, and let's jump right into this. So, holy crap, where do I even start? Um, well, I do have many opinions involving Rick leaving the show that I'd like to include in separate videos and just really go in depth and discuss it all, as I have very mixed feelings about the whole Rick Grimes leaving situation, as I'm sure you do as well. With that being said, I've mostly held off on the Rick death videos because I've been honestly just unmotivated to create videos around it, even though they'd obviously do well view-wise just for the simple fact of how bummed out about it I am. As amazing as season 9 is, and as much as I love this show right now, it's just difficult to truly enjoy it with the elephant in the room that is Rick Grimes leaving the show, and now it's finally happening. But with that in mind, I'll suck it up and let's go through the promo trailer for what will be Rick's final episode. So to make a long story short, there are three other sneak peeks for the episode, two of which focus on the beginning of the episode, so I'll just quickly summarize it here and go more in depth during my upcoming videos. The episode seems to start out with Rick speaking to the season 1 version of himself in the hospital from episode 1, telling him to wake up, and then it cuts to him trying to get himself off of the rebar as zombies slowly close in on him. He manages to get up, hop on his horse, and wander off, but not without being seriously woozy from his injury. Rick knows that he can't just turn around and go back to the communities because he'll lead the zombies with him, he doesn't want to create another no way out situation, so while Rick leads the horde away from the communities, he starts having dream sequences and visions due to the blood loss, just daydreaming of sorts. This is the show's great excuse to be able to do callbacks to previous seasons, along with get previous actors on the show again. We know that John Bernthal came back to play Shane in this episode, along with Scott Wilson playing Herschel, which is amazing that they were able to do that considering Scott Wilson sadly passed away recently, rest in peace, but during Rick's dream sequences we get some crazy callbacks to the first episode and season, and considering that we're going to see Herschel in the episode, I wonder if we're going to have flashbacks to season 2 on the farm as well, or what sort of flashbacks we'll see that aren't teased yet in the promo trailer. Anyways, what is teased is we can see Rick walking down the highway to Atlanta with the horde behind him, obviously calling back to the iconic season 1 image of Rick going to Atlanta to find his family. Not only that, but we actually hear Rick saying, I'm looking for my family in the trailer when we see this clip as well. We also see a clip of Rick riding into Atlanta on a horse just like he did in the first episode, except he somehow walks up to Shane sitting in the cop car from when Rick was shot. Now I honestly love how they merged this together because it is illogical for Rick to see that, but it makes perfect sense if he's daydreaming. During a dream, have you ever been in one location, but then you're suddenly somewhere else in instantly, or maybe you're suddenly with someone else in a different situation? I get that sometimes, and it seems like that's what they're doing here with Rick's dream sequences, and I quite like it. So we see Rick and Shane in their cop car talking on their lunch break like they were at the beginning of the pilot episode for the show, even with their food between them. The thing is, in the pilot episode, they were eating eating the food in the car like this, and then they got called out to prepare a roadblock, but in this dream sequence, they're straight up looking at the crashed over car from the roadblock, with, and that's the car uh, where the guy crawls out and he ends up shooting Rick, putting him in the initial coma at the beginning of the show. The trailer also shows yet another iconic moment from the first episode, Rick trying to find his way out of the hospital as he walks up to the infamous don't open dead inside doors, except this time the word inside is changed to outside, and then the word don't is crossed out, changing the sign to open dead outside. So, does the change in the saying really have any meaning? Will Rick end up opening these doors, or will he just walk past it? Next up, we see Rick kneeling on the ground moments after getting himself off of the rebar, and he looks up to see barbed wire, possibly implying that he's thinking about Negan or Lucille in this moment. I know that he's worried Maggie will end up killing Negan, especially since he won't be there to stop it, but at this moment in time, he has some bigger issues to deal with. So in the trailer, Rick says, it feels like it's ending, followed by Michonne responding, saying, it's not over, we don't die, and then we see them talking to each other. But is this Rick actually at home talking to her, or is this just him visioning her in front of him, maybe trying to motivate him to keep himself going? I say this because if he was back home, he'd probably be laying down, getting treated for his wound, not standing up talking to her dramatically. Hopefully this is actually Michonne talking to him, maybe he does make his way back to the community by the end of the episode and they get to talk to each other one last
last time, kind of like the Andrea death in the comics. Now, when Michonne says we don't die, it's in reference to a line that comic book Andrea would always tell Rick, as Rick actually dated Andrea in the comics, not Michonne. That's another story for another time. So, Andrea would repeatedly tell Rick that we don't die, along with just saying that in general, like when she survived being almost pushed out of the clock tower during Negan's second lineup. And since Michonne took that scene from Andrea during the season 7 finale when Rick and Carl thought that she had fallen to her death, it makes sense that Michonne would take any other remixed moments from the comics, such as throwing in a reference to what Andrea would say by telling Rick, we don't die, as we see in the trailer. Next up, we see Rick leading the horde of zombies across the bridge, something that he told Daryl he didn't want to do. Everything Rick has done this season has been for the bridge, but he should have just listened to Daryl in the first place at the end of episode 904 when he told Rick to lead the horde over the bridge because the bridge would collapse and the zombies would get washed away, as Rick wouldn't have gotten stabbed by that rebar. What confuses me is that Rick seems to be walking the zombies across the bridge alone in the promo trailer, but then with a scene from the Comic-Con trailer, it just paints an entirely different picture as we see a bunch of people there running towards Rick, but I'll get more into that during my next video where I actually go back and look at all the previous season 9 trailers and piece together any clips involving Rick's death that I may find for episode 905 that weren't shown in this most recent trailer. Finally, I wanted to point out the dream sequence clips of Rick walking over an endless pile of bodies, and when you look closer, they're people that he knows, like Jesus or Carol. For those of you who are unaware, in the comics, issue number 100 is when Negan Lucille the Glenn, and it's gotten many different variant covers, one of which being a cover that shows Rick standing on top of all the characters that have previously died in the comics, such as Shane, Lori, the Governor, along with other minor characters as well, such as Axel, and the other inmates from the prison. The thing is, in the trailer, Rick is walking over people who are not only dead, but people who are also still currently alive in Season 9 as well. Is this supposed to imply something, or did they maybe just do this to fill in the spots with more familiar faces that Rick recognizes, since the show creators probably weren't able to get all the previous actors together who have been killed off from the past 8 seasons just to all lay down for one scene? Maybe this will consist to all the people who were involved with All Out War and a link towards Negan? What do you guys think of the trailer? I'm glad that they decided to dedicate it entirely to Rick, but I'm still not ready to see it happen. It still feels like Rick has just so much more to accomplish before he leaves the show, especially since Season 9 has been doing so good, it's just such a shame, but let me know what you guys think about the way they're setting up his exit off of the show. I'll be breaking down all the other sneak peek promos in future videos, along with other discussion topics that I want to dedicate separate videos to, but until then, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, as I really helps me out more than you can imagine. Feel free to subscribe for more Walking Dead content in the near future, and if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support the channel, consider checking out my Patreon as well. Also follow me on Twitter too, link to both of those in the description. I'm fairly active on Twitter even when I'm not posting videos, and I'm always retweeting everything I can involving the Walking Dead universe. But anyways guys, as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!